is going to be our guide today. 19? 22 this year. So guys, uh, welcome to Addis Ababa. It's a beautiful, beautiful city and a beautiful day. And introduce yourself, sir. What's your name? Murgecha. Murgecha is going to be our guide today. And we'll be doing this Ethiopian food tour. So we just got out of the hotel and we'll be visiting four places. The first one will be? Vegan, like lentil, potato, whiskey okay. and bread in Jira. Yeah, in Jira, yes. Yeah. The second one? Roasted beef, Roasted sorry, sorry, beef. fish, fried okay. fish. Awesome. Good fried fish. Okay. Tilapia. And the third stop is roasted beef. Roasted beef. Okay, yeah, great. Last and the fourth is uh, traditional coffee. Sugar. Traditional coffee. Okay, yeah. awesome. So guys, stick around. We'll have a great time. Welcome to Ethiopia. Welcome to Addis Ababa. And thank you for following me and watching these videos. Guys, look at how beautiful Africa is. Tall buildings, modern buildings, everything over here, guys. So we're gonna be heading over and getting some food and I'm gonna show you everything. So come along, guys. So guys, getting a local beer. St. George. St. George? Yeah. St. George. Since 1922. 19? 22. 22 this year? Wow, this has, this has been brewed. This has been brewing since 1922, guys. A moment of truth, guys. Let's see how good it is. <laughs> it's very nice. It's, it's like it's like a Heineken. Ah, it's, it's refreshing. <laughs> Ah, there you go. There's the interesting stuff over here. Ethiopian bread. We put yep. Injera. Injera, so yes. Made from chef. Yep. So the people buy it only program 50 or 100, depending on the family size. So they mix the flour with yeast and ferment for three or four days. Okay. And bake like a pancake. You I see. Flip it. So why one side is baked. Okay. So we eat with uh, during fasting and our slants. Yep. It's famous uh, fasting in Ethiopia for about yep. 55 days. And we break, we break the lens after a week. Next week we'll be. Right, right now is uh, the fasting period, right? And, and, and Ethiopian uh, Easter is a different time than uh, the normal Easter, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Because Ethiopia has its own Yes, exactly. Tomorrow will be Sunday. Okay, gotcha. So this is uh, spinach, cabbage, lentils, with lentil spice, all lentil and spice, chicken. Yeah, this is potato, spice, potato, spicy, and bean, and spicy. Awesome. Let's dig in, guys. Let's dig in. So, just take this. Yep. Then. Right. Exactly. Yep. There you guys, just like Indian food. Mm. Fantastic guys. The injera bread is a little bit a little bit on the sour side with the spicy what, what's this one? This is like lentil? The, the spicy lentil. It just really gives that kick and it's so fantastic. It's so yummy guys. I'm gonna try the what, this is lentil too? All lentil. We're going to try this one, guys. Mm. Excellent, guys. I'm telling you, you got to come to Ethiopia. You got to come to Addis and try out this food. This food is amazing. And this is uh, spinach or cabbage? Okay. This is cabbage. So this is cabbage, guys. It's a very mild spice cabbage, but it has got that flavor, which is which is the key. The flavor is the key to all of this. With this excellent. I'm gonna wash it down with some beer. Excellent, guys. The next one I'm gonna be trying is. The potatoes over here. Mm. 
Telling you guys, not everything is spicy, but I won't say what I mean by spicy is not everything is hot and spicy, but a lot of flavors there, a lot of flavors. So, another lentil I'm trying is yellow. Mm. Excellent. You know, this is the kind of this local joint over here. I'm going to just go and show them a little bit inside. Wait. See how local this joint is? And they have a bar over here. Very cool little place. So, you can come. And it's not too far from the airport, this place. Look at the streets. It's so nice to be sitting outside and uh, chilling and having uh, some food over there. Absolutely wonderful. So guys, just walking to another place. And these are the local stores of Inaris. It's kind of the local neighborhood over here. A lot of local store, guys. A lot of little, little local stores. This is your grocery stores over here. So this is the local neighborhood. There's not nothing touristy, and then you have got nice apartment buildings over there. And the weather is just beautiful. It's about in the like 25 to 26 degrees right now. It's really nice and fun to just walk around. And it's it's beautiful. This beautiful breeze is blowing. Sometimes it could be a little bit challenging, but not too bad. Loving it. Hi, right, there you go. She's roasting the coffee. You know guys, Ethiopia is most famous for its coffee. Look at this, and the smell is so nice. So nice. Thank you so much for letting me with you. Wow. And this, I guess... The coffee table. Oh, that's a coffee table? Yeah, it's coffee cups with no handle. That's a traditional one. Oh, I see, okay. See how, this is how they roast the coffee over here. Wow. This is fabulous, guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so guys, uh, we are walking down this very famous area called Chichinia. This is a lot of liquor stores over here. And I've seen a lot of people like roasting coffee. And this is very famous for their nightclubs. So if you want to come and party guys, this is the place. It's a Chichinia. Oh, they have also some nice cool clothing stores over here. And more bars guys. A lot of bars. If I stay here for a couple of days, next time I'm going to definitely come here and party. <laughs> so, guys, people are super friendly. They're super welcoming. They have no issues about showing, you know, what they're doing or anything. No problems in videos or anything. Again, another liquor store, guys. A lot of liquor stores. It's just nice to walk around over here. It's a very, very walkable. I don't know whether it's a walkable city, but definitely it's a walkable street. Look at this. Guys, our next stop is Black Lions. We're going to be trying some traditional Ethiopian beef. You know Ethiopia is famous for its beef. They have the raw beef over here, which is very famous, but they have cooked stuff too. So let's go and try it out. Look how cool this place is and it's hopping. Let's try it out, guys. The music is pumping, guys, pumping. I want to party. Look at it. Black Lions. And it's a beautiful day. People are smiling, people are happy. That's what this place is all about, guys. And they're watching soccer, too. They are watching the English Premier League. That's, that's a global phenomenon, wherever you go, People are watching English Premier League, all the La Liga. Soccer is almost the, the, the medium of communication. Now it has to come. So, see how cool this place is. So guys, cheers, having a beer over here. My new friend is showing me around. I'm having a great time and I'm gonna put a link below of his company. If you're in Addis, you should definitely contact him. He knows this place and I'm having a great time, guys. So, A1. Cheers. 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 This 
place. This is the weekend, guys. So everybody's chilling, everybody's drinking, everybody's watching the English Premier League. Africa is such a great place. I love Africa. Guys, this is the beef, beef stew, right? This is the beef stew with the Algeria bread. Brown, tea brown, and white tea. Brown and white, yeah. yeah. Browns uh, rich in iron. Okay. Yeah. I see. All right, guys. Cheers. All right, guys. Let's dig in. Dipping, yeah. dipping in the sauce. Mm. The sourness of that the injera bread fermentation, fermentation, right? Yeah. With this spicy beef curry, it's just fabulous. Now I'm going to try the other, the darker version of the bread. Oh my god, this is so great. This the sauce, this stew is I would say very spicy, but has a lot of lot of flavor. So guys everybody's chilling out. The music is fabulous and they're putting up a kind of a fireplace over here because it starts getting cold. It's already chilly. But look at the evening, how beautiful it is. Just loving this place guys. I'm telling you, Africa is the place. I'm loving Africa. Guys, we are gonna now do a coffee ceremony. Look at this place. It's a traditional coffee ceremony place. We're gonna go and taste the local coffee. You know, Ethiopia is famous for its coffee, guys. So definitely have to go over there. Oh my God, I can smell it over here. It's such a beautiful smell. Hello. Look at that. Thank you so much. Here? Yeah. Here. Yes. Okay, fantastic. So this is how it is. This is the coffee ceremony. Yes. We're we'll making yes, coffee yes. over there. The coffee table. There's a the coffee. See, those cups don't have handles. Those are traditional cups. And look at this quaint little place. How cool this place is. So, guys, the popcorn. Yeah. That's the ground coffee. coffee. Hand roasted coffee. The hand roasted coffee, yeah. and this is Fresh the cups with no without handle. no handle, yeah. with no handle, not without no handle, with no handle. So this is where the coffee is going to get served. Ethiopian coffee is one of the in top Ethiopia, most coffee in the world. Most people, you know, uh, buy hand roasted one here. Okay, so yeah. these are all hand roasted coffee. Yeah, most okay. people buy hand roasted coffee. Okay, and then they will roast it like this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's incense, really. There you go, guys. This is the moment of that I've been waiting for. This is the Ethiopian coffee, guys. So, let me try. Oh my god. This is so good. This is so good, guys. Love it. Now I know why people say Ethiopian coffee is one of the best in the world. It has got that kind of that, I don't know, that kind of that rich taste to it. That smoky, rich, rich taste. It's, it's fabulous. And it has got a little sweetness to it too. And this is, as you can see, no sugar, no milk, nothing has been added. It's right like that. Just roasted coffee and then made homemade. Fabulous. Now I'm going to have some popcorn. And live in life. Don't have Ethiopian coffee with milk or sugar. This kills the taste, guys. Have it right black like this. It's thick, it's creamy, it's fantastic. So guys, you're gonna take these herbs over here that they give, and then just dip it over here. And that's it, just keep it like this? Yeah. This, or just like this, and then drink it? Yeah. 
All right, now it's a different way, guys. And what's the herb called? Roux. It's called roux, guys. Oh my god, it's a totally different taste because it, that herb has got this flavor, has got this smell, which is just fabulous. And then as soon as you add to the coffee, the coffee totally tastes different. It's very hard to describe unless you had it because when you're sipping it, you smell the herb. And that's what makes the difference, guys. That is the, that is the kick it gives. Mm. So that's, that's the herbs. Huh? Oh, absolutely, I love it. Yeah, one more cup, absolutely. Oil, this is oil. Oil. Look at that, guys. The oil just naturally comes out of these beans. That's how she's roasting these beans. Mm. Smells awesome. It's fantastic, guys. This is how the grinding happens, guys. Okay. Yeah. So we don't like this one. Right? I see. Okay. So this is a traditional. That's a traditional uh, way of yeah, doing traditional it. One. Wow, guys, look at that. Even this in other big cities, we yeah. use electric machine to grow the coffee. Of course, yeah. But this one traditional. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is the deep fried fish from the lake because Ethiopia is a landlocked country, so there's no sea, so access to the sea. So that's what it is. And I got the Newcastle. Is it Newcastle or Castle? Castle beer, guys. Look at this place. It's a very cool looking fish shack. Sack, shack sorry, fish shack. And. Uh, People are fantastic over here. So we'll be, and this is a sauce, a sauce over here. Green pepper, garlic. Oh, awesome! Can't wait to dig in, and I'm gonna tell you how it is. It's a moment of truth, guys. Look at this fish. Take the sauce like this one. Ah, okay. So here's the fish. Dipping in the sauce. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. It's deep fried with that sauce. Does it have coconut in it? Does it have coconut the sauce? No? It's kind of a it's, uh, ginger, G okay. garlic, ginger, green garlic, pepper, okay. oil, oil. Oil. Just coconut oil. Coconut oil. No, no coconut. No coconut. Yeah. Ginger, garlic, ginger, green garlic, pepper, okay. Salt oil. Salt oil. oil. Okay. It's so delicious, guys. So delicious. You just take the fish, you dip it in that. It has got that little kind of a spice feel to it because of the garlic and, and, the, and the green pepper and all that. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Amazing, guys. This is just fabulous. And just wash it down with some castle beer. Addis Ababa, less than 24 hours, but I've covered so much and loved it so much. I'm definitely coming back, guys, and I hope you're enjoying this video with me as well. So, guys, I ate so much. Look at this. I devoured this fish. All this fish I devoured. I can't. I'm just full. And now I'm just chilling, 
and having this local beer. Loving this beer is called Castle. And I'm telling you, this place is just fantastic. It's a local place. There's no tourism. No, like, it's not a tourist spot or anything to see. How cool this place is. And uh, locals are hanging out, having drinks, having uh, fish. So this is the Ethiopian lens time. So people do not eat meat. They eat vegetarian stuff and they eat fish. So there's a, there's a lot of people over here because of men because all the beef places are closed and they're not eating meat. So a lot of people are here to eat fish and sort of chill and it's a Saturday evening. So I hope you're enjoying this video guys because I am enjoying this and I'm enjoying sharing this with you.